guys, no you're not on the same video. I do have another video in this outfit and that's because I made two videos in a day. Talk about consistency. If you don't know me, my name is Courtney Ann Wallace. I am a Jamaican entrepreneur in the YouTube space and I specialize in finance and business related videos. I do have an online store here in Jamaica and I really, really like investing. So if you like that type of content, stick around, feel free to subscribe and let's get into the video. We are in December, which means we're almost at the end of another year. 2021 is fast approaching, and I personally made a decision to have personal financial goals. After reviewing my year, I decided, you know, I needed to make a few changes, and I'll be just sharing that with you in case you can implement these changes into your life as well. Now, the main thing I noticed after I left my 9 to 5 was that I really missed having insurance. Now, don't get me wrong, I didn't leave my job on a whim here. I didn't, you know, just get up and say, hey, I quit, I don't like this anymore. I did plan strategically, you know, me leaving and all, and a lot of entrepreneurs actually don't consider that when they're leaving their job. You're not contributing to your, your mortgage anymore. Not necessarily mortgage, but in, in Jamaica, we call it NHP. I'm not sure what they call it in the States. But basically that money that comes out of your pay that goes towards an entity that when you're ready to buy your house, they can assist you with the loan. So we call it NHC here in Jamaica. Now I thought about all of that and I do have all of that set up with my business. You know, national insurance, um, national insurance scheme, I believe it's called, your national housing trust, all of that is covered under my business. But the one thing I did not cover was my health insurance. And don't get that twisted. I do have life insurance, but I'm referring to me going to the doctor right now and being able to pull out my health card and getting a discount on my hospital bill. I don't know if it's because of climate change. I don't know if it's because maybe um, the tile is a little bit more dusty, but I have been a lot thicker this year and I really, really miss having health insurance. So moving forward next year, I really think I'm gonna take out a health insurance policy that will allow me to go to the doctor and not be spending so much money. Now I know in the States, the healthcare system is sick. You're basically on your own and you're paying thousands of dollars for even a flu shot, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I don't live in America, but let me know. I've been to America already and I was sick and trust me, I paid I, I got a bill for like $1,700 or something like that. And all I got was a shot in the butt. I kid you not. <laughs> now before I move on to the next topic, which is uh, saving for your retirement, I still want to touch on this insurance topic because I don't want you to get the impression that um, this is just about health insurance. If you're watching this video right now, you need to have insurance for for basically everything. You can't buy a house and not have insurance on your home. If it burns down right now, you're back to square one. If you're in the real estate business, you need to have uh, realtor's insurance. If you have a car, you need insurance. Once you have an asset, um, you do need insurance, guys. So bear that in mind. Now, number two, a uh, personal financial goal of mine is actually starting to save for my retirement. Now I did make a video a few weeks ago about ways to manage your money better and I mentioned setting up a checking account, setting up a savings account and actually using the savings account for what it is, which is saving. Um, that would be my emergency fund and then using my checking account for my daily transactions. Now my savings account is not supposed to be used frequently because it's just that, savings. So that should be acquiring interest on the side and then I did mention having a fixed account, which is an account that you don't have access to until the maturity date, I would be probably setting it to quite a number of years because I'm still young. And then you'd be depositing into that account, it would be acquiring interest and stuff like that. And then when you're retired, you have access to that, that um, fund. Now, if you're in America, you can consider having a Roth IRA, you can consider having an RET and stuff like that. I'll probably make a video on that soon enough. I do want to start saving for my retirement. I can be making videos telling you guys to be financially responsible and I'm here without a retirement fund. Once you turn 18 years old, you need to start saving for your retirement. And I'm at least 23 now, so I think now is that time to take that step and set up that fixed account. Now the next personal financial goal I have for 2021 is actually diversifying my investment portfolio. Now, I've been trading stocks for a few years, but it's not something I kind of dive into or I specialize in. But next year, I really want to bump up how much I've been studying or how much I've been practicing so that I can gain more knowledge on stocks and, and, and stuff like that. And I want to diversify my portfolio so that 
all of my funds aren't in one single company. You know what I mean? Because anything can happen and that company devalues and then you literally have no money left. So I want to learn how to diversify my portfolio. I want to increase the money in my investment account so that I can actually have a larger play or a larger number of shares in a particular company. Next, I'm going to be going to point number four, which is actually improving on my credit score. But before I get to point number four, if you're enjoying the content right now, feel free to hit that like button because it helps with YouTube's algorithm. And if you like finance and business related content, don't forget to subscribe, guys. I make videos like these once a week. Now back to the video. Point number four was actually to work on my credit score. Now currently, I only have uh, one credit card. I took on my first credit card this year. And I also have a video on why you should get a credit card. So I've been trying to build my credit score simply because I'm young now and I think I can work on this until it's time to, you know, get a home or get anything at all because I'm a businesswoman. I'm going to need a loan here or there. What I really want to do, I want to get a second credit card and kind of have like my personal limit on each. Now, I did make a video um my, my, I think it was my last video actually, how to improve your credit score. And I was saying that if your expenses are usually $30,000 a month, it makes no sense to have a credit card with a limit of 50 grand and you're spending 30 grand off of that one card. If you have three cards, however, with 50 grand limits and you're spending $10,000 off of each of those cards, it's a much better ratio because you come off of, you come off as more responsible to the bank. I can't tell you why they have that rule. That's their rule. Just follow it and try to build your credit score. So that's basically what I'm going to do. I want to get a second credit card and basically um, interchange how I use them from spending less on each card. You know what I mean? Being that I am the budget queen, um, I was watching Nate O'Brien's channel the other day and I, I saw him talking about the 50-20-10 rule for his budget. And ironically, I guess subconsciously, I was always following that rule because when I pulled out my budget and I was like, okay, 50% of my income is this, 20% of my wants is this, 10% um, of my income is this, it actually panned out. Like, probably just a couple dollars extra, literally. But um, I want to get more strict on that. I want to have, you know, 50% needs, 20% wants, 10% investments, and then kind of just gauge that every single month. And then probably in future, I can up that 10% to 10% wants and 20% investment. So I definitely want to, um, you know, adjust how I make my budget for the year 2021. That's basically it for the video, guys. I really had a good time sitting and talking with you guys. Again, if you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe. Hopefully, my goals are similar to your goals. If you have any other financial goals, feel free to let me know in the comment section, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.